an American And he, 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 he Ask him And that was our next guest's powerful song to the innocent of the highly criticized Afghanistan withdrawal. Welcome back to Wake Up America, everyone. I'm Tom Basili alongside Allison Maloney. So with Afghanistan suffering an immense humanitarian crisis alongside severe weather coming in these winter months, many are concerned for those left behind after the, the departure of U.S. troops. And one person who's been inspired to do what he can to help those left behind in Afghanistan is Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter Five for Fighting's John Andrasik. He joins us this morning. John, uh, thank you for joining us, and welcome to Wake Up America. Tom Allison, good morning from uh, dark Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for getting up so early for us. Uh, John, I want to get into your song that's gotten a lot of attention, Blood on My Hands. How do you use inspiration of life and tragedy in your music like you've shown with this song and video? Well, you know, I think for songwriters, many things that inspire you are things that are painful. And certainly Afghanistan, watching the uh, initial images of people falling from planes and women handing their children over barbed wire, certainly, um, I think, horrified all of us. And sometimes you feel helpless. helpless. What can you do? I was up in my studio just kind of banging on the piano as a cathartic measure. And... Um, and this song kind of just wrote itself. I had no intention of writing a song. I don't really write political songs, but I think uh, this withdrawal was so egregious. There's so many uh, kind of layers to the catastrophe. And to make it worse, when the president gave his extraordinary success speech and General Milley and General Austin uh, parroted that political narrative, that scared me. And uh, I thought somebody needed to say it. Uh, I kept waiting for my colleagues uh, in the music business to write songs like this. There's been protest songs before, but nobody was saying it. Yeah. So uh, I felt it important not only to, to put the song out, but once it resonated, especially with our veterans, to make a video to document, at least have one musician's artist's view of this historic disaster that I think we're still seeing the repercussions from and that will go on for decades. Uh, absolutely. You know, the song was then ended up being a victim of cancel culture. It was actually flagged and taken down by YouTube, citing what they said were graphic content that you had already, by the way, you had warned that there was some graphic content in there. Did you ultimately, though, did you feel targeted because of the message of the song, because it, it pushed back against the U.S. policy? Well, look, not only did I put a warning on it, YouTube put a warning on it the day they put it up, which they should have. They should put an age restriction on it. Uh, the, the atrocities of the Taliban are hard to watch. And frankly, we left a lot out. And, um, and the ironic thing was, as soon as they took my song down for these graphic warnings, I Googled uh, and quickly found a dozen videos with Taliban atrocities, much worse than mine that YouTube didn't take down. Look, we'll never know, was it an algorithm? Was it political? Was it some kind of hybrid? But we also know it always happens to the side that's criticizing the left. So uh, we have this kind of track record of their censorship. And I think more revealing, uh, Tom, actually, mm -hmm. is the reaction to YouTube taking my song down. Yeah. I think we know if, uh, if somebody had written a song critical of President Trump, frankly, if President Trump got us in this situation, I would have written the same song. This is a moral issue, not a political one. But if, if somebody had written a song critical of President Trump, I, I highly doubt YouTube would have taken yeah, the song right. down. Yeah, They'd you're... probably be uh, celebrating it every day. Yeah, yeah. It's not, because it's not about it's politics. This is about your song is about people, right? I mean, that's really what this is about. It's a moral message. I mean, there's many, as I said, you mentioned the humanitarian crisis, famine, starvation. We are complicit in this. Parents are selling their children for food. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's the moral crisis of Afghanistan. Who are we as America? No man left behind. Does that matter? Does our promise matter? Mm -hmm. And the repercussions of that, I, I think we're seeing in, in Ukraine as we speak. And then there's the national security crisis. People don't realize we still have 20,000 special operators that we trained Afghans who are using our weapons uh, that are trapped, that are yeah. stranded. And they have a dilemma. Yeah. They can either be hunted and killed yeah. or join the Taliban. And the fact that the administration has no policy to address John. that and are undercutting our 
our private uh, rescue organizations is egregious. Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Alice Millennial on sign Tom Basili, and we are welcoming back John Odroskic performing his song, Blood on My Hands. Got blood on my hands Got blood on my hands And I don't understand What's happening There's blood on the Wow, that wow. that is so powerful, John. Uh, and you know, thank you for thank you for writing it. People should watch it. Mm -hmm. They should download it. They should get the song. So important to ensure that what happened there and the people who were there and who were suffering are not forgotten by this uh, by this country thank Absolutely. you so much john and